Hey guys, I wanted to share a little thing I've been just fiddling with the last couple days. Um, I have a particular a particular medication I take that uh, I need to split in half. Um, and yeah, it's scored, but this sucker is hard to snap. You gotta keep your fingernails short. You gotta have dry hands and you have to have your pain tolerance up because it hurts. And then after you've snapped a few, you know, it wears down your nails. So why not just use a, you know, regular commercial pill splitter? They have blades in them, right? Well, uh, when I use a commercial pill splitter, it the blade starts going in and then it goes off to one side or the other. And then it creates a crater of powder in the middle. So... That's not exactly useful. These things are best broken in half by snapping them, not, not cutting them. So, I made this. It's a box. No, you don't, you don't smush the pill with it. There's stuff inside the box. Let's take a look. Oh, whoa, go this way. The bottom looks very similar to a, a regular pill splitter. It's got the whole triangle thing, so you can get the pill held securely. But the difference is, the bottom here has a ridge. This is freshly 3D printed, un unprocessed, so it's got a little a little schmutz on it. But so this thing is kind of it's not sharp, but it's it's sharp enough uh, to do what I need. So if I take a pill like this pill, I put it in there. Now, one of the downsides is uh, you got to have that score facing up and you want to have it as closely aligned with the, uh, well, no, no, it's not the blade, but with the ridge as possible. I got to try to come up with a way to simplify that. But so, all right, now I'm going to just take this top part here. I'll show you what's under there later in a sec. Set it on. And now, ready? I'm going to just give it a little squeeze. There we go. It's almost perfectly cut. It's now a pretty well split in half pill. Pop it out of there, let's take a look. Yeah, very nice, very, very halvesies. Unfortunately, if you put the score down, uh, right now it, it's un it does not cut it evenly. So I still got some work to do. I think my ridge needs to be a little taller. And uh, this is, the first draft was like this big. I, uh, I didn't actually do any measuring before I made it. Another idea is maybe I just, um, instead of doing the whole triangle thing, I make one that's designed to fit this. This, this pill is a pretty standard size. So there's not a lot of plastic to it. There's more plastic than necessary. I can, I can get this down to where it'll print quick and I could just make one, a custom one designed for specific pills. Um, so here's the top. This is why I wanted to show you this later. Cause this took a fair amount of work. I, I still use Tinkercad to do my 3d modeling. So, um, uh, yes, I need to, I need to learn how to use uh, fusion 360 at some point. <laughs> But, um, yes, those cones, getting everything lined up so that this would all fit together. I still didn't do it perfect. You'll see when I close it all the way, there's a gap there. That's because of this tip I didn't accommodate for the bottom part. But I'm going to make that bottom part stick up a little further probably and do some more fiddling. It works now. Um... Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a work in progress. I just thought you guys might like to see this little, we'll call it a quickie project I'm working on. Um, anyhow, uh, there it is. I may update later as I uh, make improvements. So thanks for watching.